I've been, like I said, in Chattanooga my whole life, so I've come to the Hunter as long as I can remember. I even had prom here. Uh, but I had to pick between all the different pieces, and this is the one that stood out. Um, the reason why is not actually because of the piece. I think it's a beautiful piece, but there's a story behind it that not many people know about. Uh, at least it's a rumor that I've heard. It might not be true. But there used to be a room in this building dedicated to children, and kids were told to make art there. You know, they were painting and drawing and coloring, and uh, maybe just to keep them busy, or maybe it was to give them an understanding of what art was. I don't know. But the rumor was that a kid came here with a crayon, drew on this piece. Now, obviously, that's a big no-no. So I'm sure that the parent kind of freaked out and told the kid no, and the uh, curators or the people in the museum came here and they fixed the painting back to its original form, so you can't even tell that the marking's there. But there's something about that that really, ever since I heard that, it, it's always stood out to me. Uh, it kind of changed my understanding of art, too, because I try to picture it, you know, in my head. I, I see the kid being told, like, hey, it's okay to make art, let's make some artwork. And then, you know, they're he or she is painting a, a picture, and then they take that crayon, and they come here and they use this as their new canvas, and then all of a sudden that changes, you know. All that stuff that happened in that moment, in this rumor, that, that is like a whole bunch of emotion, and, and fear, and excitement, and experimentation as a kid, and complete ignorance of vandalism. It's, it's so pure, it's so, so good that, I mean, that to me is what abstract expression is. It's, you know, this is just, this is just art piece, it's a painting, it's, it's really meaningless. Except for when you give it meaning. There's probably no one aside from maybe the artist in this world that this piece means more than that kid that drew on it. Now, we'll never know if that's true or not because the marketing is gone. But every time I look at this piece, I have to think of that story, and I really hope it's not just a rumor. I work in a lot of different mediums. Um, some of them, the work I make is completely experimental, kind of like abstract expressionism. I make a series of ceramic work that I sculpt by shooting it with guns, and that's just, it's just fun. I'm just having a good time shooting clay, making very beautiful forms, and just seeing what happens with a bullet it is used as a tool to make some form of art. And, but some of my other work uh, I make that has a lot of meaning behind it that people might not realize. Uh, I make construction work that shows the process of construction. It shows each step that goes into the process of building a wall from putting up the 2 by 4s to the drywall to the primer to the paint, all of it. My dad was uh, really sick at one point uh, when I created this, this series and he was in the hospital for a long time. And he was a construction worker his whole life and I came to learn that he actually built the room he was in, in the hospital. He put the floor down there and the ceiling down the walls in. And uh, a family member had mentioned or talked about a painting that was in his hospital room of a boat and an ocean and said, that's a beautiful piece of art. You know, Adam, you should, you should make that work. You're talented and you could do that. But for me, the wall behind it actually had more meaning. And all of a sudden, I wanted to, to show people the process, the, the time that went into actually building something that is always around them that they always took for granted. You know, each step of that process is, is beautiful. And I was a construction worker for a while, so I actually grew to appreciate it myself. My sort of critique of what is considered successful art or high-end art when I'm, when I'm showing it as something you would see every day as a construction worker, but you didn't appreciate it because you weren't told to. When you hang something on the wall, you have appreciation for it.